and we are about ready to get underway. Idaho State, we're in the black. Northern Colorado in the white, and here we go. Bears with possession to get things started. Needling down the side, looking for Lucy Hart, deflected by Warda. Again, looks like we have Warda. We saw her start the game the other day on the defensive back line, and then they moved her up to forward at the half. Looks like she's going to be starting again here on the back line. And you know, it's nice to see. She's a versatile player. She can play um, defensively and offensively for the Bengals. Um, so giving them some depth at the, depth at the start of the game um, isn't bad for her, and it's um, nice to see her wherever Dustin Downey needs her. Tomashiro tries to send it in the box, deflected down by Lily Timpson. Bengals get back on it, send it into the box, and that will be a corner. A corner. So an opportunity here early on for Idaho State on a set piece. And this could be a prominent start for um, the Bengals as well today at the start of the game. So um, uh, with this early on and a set piece like this, um, they can make, make a statement early on in this game. Thomas Shiro is going to take it high into the box. Bears are going to be able to jump on it and tried to clear it, but a good job by Wurlitzer to stop it and keep possession for Idaho State. Warda. Sends it back to Wurlitzer. Handed up by Northern Colorado. And here comes the Bears the other way. Possible counterattack here for Northern Colorado. Donis in the box, clears it, and a shot goes up and over the bar. So a good counterattack there from Northern Colorado to get an opportunity, but the Bengals able to keep it out of the net. Yeah, and as we look here, you know, great pressure from the Bears. Um, kind of a 3v3 sense, but good attack, kind of countering the Bengals as they're down a player, and great re defensive recovery by the Bengals as well to get back and protect that goal. A couple of black shirts there to get in the way in the end. So both teams with a couple of early opportunities. In a situation like this, where it's like the last game of the season, mm -hmm. uh, kind of playing for pride, there's no tournament, anything like that on the line. It, do you find that maybe the players might be a little bit looser, kind of nothing to play for, just kind of go for it kind of a situation? Yeah, you know, sometimes I think both. It's um, it's a little bit of nerves and a little bit of excitement. Um, they just want to finish on a high. and. I think, you know, that can be get the best of them sometimes and just turn out really well for either team. So excited for both teams today and what they bring. Desjardins on it for Idaho State. Tried to slip it into the box. Tomashiro. Back up to Grafton. Poked away by the Bears. And here comes Northern Colorado. Lauren Woodhull, their leading scorer, leading the charge here. She has help in the middle with Needling. And it's deflected, and that will be the throw-in deep for, in, for UNC. Great hustle and recovery, recovery by Wurlitzer as well. Um, you know, she kind of got that last clip and well, just like, deflected off. I think they're kind of confused over there. I think the ref might have pointed the flag the wrong way at first, so it's actually a throw-in for Idaho State. And a, or UNC, excuse me, gets on it. Wurlitzer sends it ahead. Buchanan, well out of her box to play it is Maddie Smith. And a throw in coming for Idaho State. Warda, right in midfield, looking to throw it in. Down the sidelines for Talon Butterbaugh. Butterbaugh centers it. No black shirts there in support. That was a good look by Butterball. Um, great ball, just no one in the box for her and the Bengals um, to get on the back end of it and finish it. Bengals back on it. 
They're going to send it to Scarduzio. Stolen by UNC. But they can't keep it in, and the throw in coming for Idaho State. Sowers, one of the four seniors to be honored today. Sends it into the box, but couldn't quite get a whole lot on it, and it's an easy pickup there for Smith. Bears on it. Tomashiro swoops in to steal it for Idaho State, but it will be a throw in for the Bears. UNC now, near side, looking for Kalen Needling. Well played there defensively by Warda, but the offsides flag was up anyway. I think that's something that the Bengals are gonna have to watch for in today's match as well, just the um, switch of attack for the Bears. Um, as we've seen a couple other teams do that against the Bengals, but you know, ISU doing a really well, good job of defending it and stepping up and holding their line. Kenna Wilson back, marking Buchanan, but it will be a throw in here for Idaho State. Ward is gonna come up and take it. UNC leads the all-time series eight, seven, and one, so fairly evenly matched contest and shot, but the offsides flag is up. So a couple of offsides on both teams here in the last couple of minutes. If we take another look at that play. Just a bit past that last defender, and, you know, but really good offensive wise for um, the Bengals and they just need to keep maintain that offensive attack for them as well. Lucy Hart with a run here for the Bears. Marked by Scarduzio into the box and a little bit wide. Brittany Donis was in the neighborhood on that back post, but Atkins able to keep it under control. And this is Scarduzio's second game she's starting in as she um, stepped up in for Trin Taminga um, game on Friday. And, you know, she's done a really good job stepping up and as a underclassman and just being a presence on the back line. So good for her and um, great work that she's been putting in for the Bengals. Foul called against Idaho State, so a free kick here in a somewhat dangerous spot here for Northern Colorado. McKenna Wilson. Appears like she'll be the one to take it. About 36 minutes, 36 and a half minutes to go here in the first half. A dangerous spot here for the Bears. Wilson sends it in, deflected straight up by Wurlitzer. Bears able to get it back. Wilson sends it back into the box, but no Bears were there. And an easy pickup there for Atkins. Sends it forward. Bengals try to get something going here. Desjardins. Deflected down by the Bears. And Northern Colorado with possession. Really good read by Atkins too. You know, early save and she plays it out quickly to her teammates to go for a counter as we're gonna get Taylor Butterball here in the box. Nice feed there by Brentlinger to give Butterball a chance, but well defended in the end by the Bears to knock it away. So a goal kick here coming for Northern Colorado. Oh, 
Far side with some space for UNC. Brittany Donis keeps it in, waiting for some support. Into the box, but on top of the net. And a goal kick coming. Or do, I know it was deflected by a Bengal, so it's actually going to be a corner. So an opportunity here for the Bears. Corner kick, Bears. Alex Michael, the freshman from Gillette, Wyoming, getting set to take this for the Bears. Headed away by Wurlitzer. Buchanan races to pick it up for Idaho State. Sowers now as the Bengals try to get a counter going. And a throw in here for UNC. Hart. Needling. Woodhull. Bengals get on top of it. Great job by Butterbot to work her way through a couple of white shirts. Feeds it ahead to Sowers. But good job defensively there by Hart. But right back to the Bengals. Butterball. Looking for Sowers. Poked away and a throw in coming here for Idaho State. Great effort by Idaho State here, and um, a lot of it stemmed from um, with Taylor Butterball. Um, she's a great player to watch. She has really good composure on the ball, and just being able to feed something off to her teammates for. <coughs> Throw in by Warda gets into the box. Cleared momentarily by UNC, but Scarduzio back on it for the Bengals. Wurlitzer sends it to the far side for Grafton. It's out and should be a throw in here. And Emerson Grafton, she's been a fun player to watch this season as well. Um, you know, only a freshman for her, but she doesn't play like it at all. She's uh, super crafty and gets in to all the stuff and um, defensively and offensively for the Bengals, just um, supporting both on top and in the back. Tomashiro in the box looking for Sowers, but it goes right into the waiting hands of Maddie Smith. Desjardins swoops in to steal it. Warda sends it in the middle. Looking for Brentlinger. Butterball now, edge of the box. Sends it in on top of the net. Maddie Smith looked like she had the ground well covered. And it's gonna be a goal kick. the Bengals with five shots here early on. Two of them on goal, as opposed to just two shots from UNC. None of them on goal, so. The Bengals the aggressors here early on. It's a team that's struggled to score goals, although they've been able to find the back of the net a little bit more as of late. I think that's really nice for them. Um, although it may not show in the numbers, you know, it's progression for them as a team, so. Um, kudos to them and just keep putting in the effort as they um, continue to press the attack against the Bears. Poked away momentarily by the Bears and Grafton's going to watch it go out of bounds and, and throw in here coming for Idaho State. 31 minutes left to go here in the first half. Still no score in the regular season finale here in the Big Sky. Tournament coming November 4th. Neither of these teams will be there. They've both been eliminated from making it to the tournament. It's looking to end the season on a high note. Still plenty to play for though, for the teams that are in it. Northern Arizona has clinched at least a share of the regular season title. NAU, Idaho, Portland State, and Sacramento State all have clinched spots in the Big Sky Tournament. 
That's sent into the box and easily played there by Atkins. Top six vacant, so there are two spots left. Montana and Weber State play each other today. Basically, that's a win in your end situation. Eastern Washington, the other team that could get in, they are playing Idaho. The Vandals could also get a share of the regular season title if they get a win and Northern Arizona loses to Portland State. So a lot to sort out still at the top. I think it's always nice to see too, from the preseason polls to how the it comes down to the ending of the conference. Um, you never know what you're in store for. So an exciting, exciting season for um, all teams this year in the Big Sky Conference. Northern Colorado, a good keeping a possession here. But picked up there by Grafton. And here comes the Bengals the other way as Brentlinger sends it ahead. Sowers, she's on side. A little bit of space. Buchanan in the middle for support. Sowers stops. Head to the box, sends it in. Buchanan poked away. Buchanan able to keep possession for Idaho State. Desjardins now. She'll take a shot, well wide though. And a goal kick coming for UNC. Lauren Woodhull, player to watch here for the, for the Northern Colorado Bears. She leads the team in goals. She leads the team in points, 11 points. She does have an assist as well. And she's beginning into the, a lot of the offensive attack for the Bears um, early on in this game as well. So she's definitely a threat of, for the Bengals to watch against um, today's game and to see what she brings today. Sophomore from Westminster, Colorado. Bears now trying to get on the attack here. With just over 20 left to go here in the first half. Timpson into the box, gets through. Near miss there for Northern Colorado. As a, that looks like that was Kaylin Needling in the box. Warda was there defensively to get in the way. Really close effort. Looks like that little bounce just kind of missed the goalkeeper and uh, UNC and the Bengals that were in that box. So um, really good effort by UNC um, to get that cross in. Um, just unfortunate last touch to put it in the back of the net. It almost looks like Atkins got just in enough of it yeah. to, to kind of deflect the ball to knock off the timing for Needling, who was waiting for it to knock it in. Of course, Warda was there as well to help get in the way. So a good opportunity there for Northern Colorado. Not technically a shot, but... A really close effort. Carlin Wurlitzer, a player to watch. We mentioned she's one of the seniors. She is, uh, this is going to be her 78th game for Idaho State, which will have her tied for fourth. For the ISU record for the most games played in... Uh, in school also history and uh, you played with Carlin and she has been an absolute rock for this program as far as just being there every single day. Yep, you know, like when in doubt, she's never, she's honestly never missed a game. So she's definitely been a solid piece of um, Bengal, you know, ISU and the Bengal soccer team here. And she's left a legacy for them and um, definitely is a tough hole to, to fit for her, but you know, she's worked hard and been a fun player to play with and watch. Shot there from Buchanan is saved by Smith. You were telling me a story uh, before the game where there was one game you thought that that uh, Carlin was going to miss, and she just refused to not miss it. <laughs> she, yeah, it was actually we played um, UNC. It was a couple years ago, right before COVID, and she kind of got kicked in her ankle. Um, but nope, she wasn't going to miss next Sunday's game, so she came back wrapped tape that um, ankle up and back out there to play on Sunday. So she's definitely a hard, tough player and, um, you know, Bengals will miss her. She's played in every possible game she could have played for Idaho State. And as far as the minutes go, she's played in 97% of possible minutes as well. So she has literally been just Iron Woman and the, the workhorse for this back line, this Idaho State program. And she's going to be one of the four seniors uh, honored today. Got the chance to, to meet her mom and her brother before the game as well. That was that was exciting. They had come in from Hawaii to come be here for her on senior day. 
former coach of yours, actually. Yeah, her mom was my club coach, so it's always nice. Um, you know, we've we played against each other in high school and in club growing up um, back in Hawaii, and being able to play with each other here at ISU is definitely um, a privilege and a blessing um, to play alongside of her. So, great player and great person. Wurlitzer sends it in. Pond was in the neighborhood, but a little too far, but I think there was a foul called before the kick. The referee was pointing. Not really sure what he was calling for, possibly a handball. Well, it's gonna be a free kick for Idaho State, so whatever he called, it was against Northern Colorado. So a free kick here coming, Wurlitzer. Just about right at midfield. Into the box, right into the arms of Maddie Smith. It's almost like a fair catch in football. Yeah, great ball in from Wurlitzer. Um, you know, she's got the leg, she's got the power. Um, just Maddie Smith right there to pick it up easily for her. Scarduzio. Poked away, great play defensively there from Northern Colorado as Maddie Dern was able to get possession while on the ground. And a foul called against Idaho State and a free kick here coming for the Bears. McKenna Wilson will set up to take it. Just about midfield. Into the box, a couple of bears there. Neither of them is able to get any contact with the ball, and in the end, an easy play for Atkins. Great ball in by um, UNC as well. Dangerous ball, um, just no one could get on the end of it. Um, an easy pickup for Atkins. Atkins, a senior, she'll be honored today as well from Eagle, Idaho, transferred in from the College of Idaho. Although she does, hasn't got as many minutes, um, I know she's definitely been an impact um, for the Bengals here with just her leadership and uh, morals that she brings for the team. So I know the, the Bengals and the girls will miss her dearly, but she's made a huge impact on the team as well. Dion with a shot saved by Smith. As we saw just a moment ago, one of the Northern Colorado players slip, which resulted in a turnover and a giveaway. We wondered about that. It was very rainy here yesterday in Pocatello. And we've seen throughout the season sometimes footing has been an issue. And this, this field, um, getting a little bit wet, it's kind of dry and at least sunny at the moment. But there's something to watch for throughout this game. Is pushing ahead here for the Bears, Adonis. Good tackle by Wurlitzer a couple of times to get it out of the way. Looks like they're gonna give it a goal kick too. Great job by Wurlitzer just to get that first initial tackle and then it was off of a bear. Wurlitzer showing her worth there on that back line as the Bengals try to push it ahead. Butterball can't quite catch up to it. Samantha Blanchard on it for the Bears. Needling. The center for Durant. The Bears now, far side. Again, Wurlitz are there to tap it out. A good job to put in the spot where Graftick could pick it up and not just launch it out to give the Bears a throw in, but uh, allowed the Bengals to keep possession. Dion now, Peyton Dion, she's checked into the game. Rettlinger, another one of the Bengals seniors. Florida Gulf Coast transfer from Delaware. The fourth senior, Genevieve Sowers, got the start. She's from Cody, Wyoming. And ball called there, so a free kick here coming from for Northern Colorado.
free kick here for the Bears. Wilson. Getting ready to take it. She had a good ball in last time, just wasn't able to connect. Let's see what she can do with this one. Again in the box. No white shirts really that close to it this time. And Atkins is able to get to it. Great ball by Atkins and um, looking, Kaylin Buchanan almost getting on the end of that. Um, seen some pretty, pretty good players around the field from both teams. I got some legs that can launch the ball in. So that's, um, you know, we might see it again here as we've got a foul called. So free kick here coming for the Bears. Five fouls called against Idaho State so far. Scarduzzi is going to send it back to Atkins. Atkins. Can't keep it in, so a throw in here coming as we have some substitutions now coming Checking in. in for the Bears, number five, Morgan it's like King. And Morgan King and Riley Collie Nash, Collie -Nash and coming in for, Bengals, for the Bears. Nine, Jordan, Jordan Roth is going to check in for Idaho State as Megan Tomashiro takes a seat. Stolen by the Bears. Brittany Donis, edge of the box. Takes a shot wide. That's the first, uh, well, fourth shot of the game for the Bears. Checking in for your Bengals. And another substitution here. Trent Taminga checking in for Idaho State for Nicolette Scarduzio. She had to miss the game on uh, Friday because of yellow card accumulation. Back ready to go here for the season finale. Dangerous giveaway by Taminga and a near miss as Brittany Donis had a shot. Good job by Atkins to cut off the angle, but a dangerous play there for the Bengals. Definitely a dangerous ball and good read by UNC to kind of almost intercept that pass and get a shot on goal. Um, and you know, Kylie Atkins reading that as well and making sure she wasn't able to finish that ball. Foul called here against the Bears, so a free kick coming for Idaho State. Just over 17 minutes to play, still no score here at Davis Field between the Bengals and the Bears. Taminga up ahead to Pond. Wurlitzer now. Far side. Grafton into the box, looking for Pond. Bengals able to hang on to it. Roth back to Grafton. Cuts it inside, takes the shot from outside the box, but Smith had it the whole way. And that was a great build up for the Bengals as well, starting with a big cross by Carlin Worland. Warlitzer to find um, Emerson Grafton and just getting on the end of that ball and getting across in. That's the 11th shot of the game for Idaho State. They only average nine shots per game this season, so well above their average already with 16 left to go here in the first half. So much more aggressive offensively for the Bengals here. Taminga steps in, but picked right back up by the Bears. Hart, back to the center looking for Michael. Stepping up for Haley Onen. Far side now. Kelly Naj, edge of the box. Centers it, a little back heel pass, but picked up there defensively by Warda. Pond, trying to push it now. Keeps it in. Buchanan in the neighborhood, but unable to connect. Maddie Smith for UNC doing a really good job too of um, kind of being that last defender, playing off her line and picking up the balls early um, for the Bears.
And a foul called against the Bengals. And I think we're gonna get a yellow card here against UNC. Yeah, one of the UNC players. That looks like number 17, that's Samantha Blanchard. She immediately got up and threw her hands up like, where's the call? She did actually did end up getting the call. And then she ended up getting booked for right there, that uh, display of emotion there. So Sam Blanchard with the yellow card. For the Bears, that's her second of the season. And a throw in here coming for Idaho State. Just under 15 to go here in the first half. No score. In the box. Sent out by Duran. Dion able to get possession back for the Bengals. Grafton ahead, trying to find Pond, but it's going to be a throw in as more substitutions are coming in. Aisley Allen and. Oh, well, they're going to wait on the substitutions. I thought I, nope, they're going to let him in. I thought I saw them signal they're going to put him in. So Allen, Aisley Allen and Mary Zah coming in for Idaho State. Checking in for the Bears, number three, Ashley Hillman. Number 22, and for Lucy Northern Roberts, Colorado, Ashley Hillman, one of the Morrison. players coming in. I think number 18 is also coming in, Abby Bush. And there's a third one that I didn't catch Bengals, who it was. Number two, Aisley Allen. And also in for your Bengals, number 15, Mary Zahn. Bears looking to push. Lucy Hart. Lentlinger. All over Haley Onan and earns a throw in here for Idaho State. Takes it quickly. A little bit over Allen's head. Back and forth here in the midfield. Both teams fight for possession. Bears gonna go back and collect it here. Seen a lot of high pressure in these past couple minutes um, from both teams on the defensive defensive side for them. Um, kind of seeing if they can turn over the ball and make them just play a little quicker. Tominga to Wurlitzer. And this will be a throw in here for Idaho, or for Northern Colorado. Another player slips. As UNC comes up with it. Bears trying to push it ahead. Bengals get it back. Deflected, now it's a foot race. Onan gets to it for the Bears, edge of the box. Here's the shot. Atkins all over it. Great effort by UNC to kind of read that ball and take advantage of that turnover opportunity to counter against the Bengals. Um, that's, Bengals are going to be a little bit, needs to be a little bit more cautious of um, playing the ball long and just trying to keep and maintain possession out of the back. Foul called against Idaho State. Free kick here coming for the Bears. 11 and a half to go here in the first half. Onan back on it. Sends it out wide. Timpson into the box. Headed away by Wurlitzer. Right back to the Bears. Hart, Onan. Bengals get possession back, send it back, sends it back to Atkins. Tominga. 
Gets it away to Warden. Looking for Allen. There defensively is Maddie Duran for the Bears. And that's going to be deflected off of Allen and past the end line for a goal kick. There's two balls on the field. That's why the referee is stopping play. Just letting everybody know that we need to get that other one off of there. Now we're ready for the goal kick. Turned out to be a very pretty good day for some soccer here. You mentioned we had some inclement weather over the weekend. We weren't sure what we were going to see today. Maybe a little chilly, maybe a little breezy, but Take the sun. We'll take the sun, yeah. Grafton. Into the box, Nutt makes her defender, sends it in. Allen gets a foot on it, but can't quite get it on goal. And here comes the Bears trying to push it the other way. And Grafton just doing what she does best. I'm taking on 1v1 at the end of the um, Thir attacking third for the Bengals and just getting a cross off. Um, like I said, fun player to watch and very sk skillful. Grafton again. Not able to catch up to that one and it'll be a goal kick. We take a look again. It's a great play there by Grafton. Allen couldn't quite get in front of that ball. Grafton, just a freshman from Camas, Washington. Maybe one of the players that Coach Dustin Downey will be looking to build on, looking ahead to next year. Coach Downey in his first year leading the Idaho State program. Roth, back to Wurlitzer. As we approach the eight minutes to go mark here in the first half, still no score. A few close calls. Wurlitzer's gonna take a shot from deep, but one hopper to Maddie Smith. She's not afraid to, she has the leg to, to send it in from that deep. She's probably thinking, I want a goal too. It's my, it's my <laughs> senior day, I want a goal. Smith will play it, seven and a half to go. Foul called against Idaho State. And a free kick here coming near midfield. Seen a few opportunities kind of in this scenario for the Bears. This time, Maddie Duran's gonna send it to the near side here to Hart. Hart into the box, deflected away momentarily. And a foul is gonna be called against Aisley Allen as one of the Bear players is on the ground. So another free kick coming here in a dangerous spot for the Bears. Bit of a hip check there. You always want to be defensively strong in your um, defensive third, but fouls like this can, um, can be kind of dangerous sometimes. So a set piece opportunity here for the Bears. No score, six and a half to go. An opportunity here for Northern Colorado to get on the board first. Maddie Duran, the graduate student from Highlands Ranch, Colorado is there. A couple of Bears there. Also there is Morgan King. Either one of them could take it. Let's see who does, if they can do something with it. It's gonna be Durant. She's gonna take the shot and it goes wide. Tried to find that back corner, but Atkins looked like she had it pretty well covered. Yeah. 
Checking in for the great Bears, ball and great look, just Taren a little Ray. bit too much past and the upper corner um, for the Bears. Seymour. I think it looked a lot closer than it was from our camera angle. Yeah. Atkins well, didn't look like Virginia she was. Wallace. The wind could have had some effect on it, too. It got carried a little too far out. Didn't look like Kylie was too stressed about that shot. Allen trying to get to it. Can't quite keep it in, so a goal kick coming here for UNC. Looks like we've got 22 for the Bengals, Virginia Wallace. Um, she came in for Gabby Huerta. Virginia Wallace is a player that we saw a lot more of, I think, early on in the season, not so much later in the season. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of it, too, you know, you're just trying to feel out, like, how players work with each other on the field and um, just kind of your... Uh, technique and skill of play that you're wanting to put against your opponents. Kelly Nodge pushing it ahead for the Bears. There's Wallace defensively for the Bengals to clear it. It's it ahead to Roth as the Bengals try to get a counter going. Roth. Pond. Shot and save there by Smith. Smith doing a really good job um, this first half of the game, just getting in the right position and putting herself in that easy position to save that ball for the Bears. She's been busy. I think that's her seventh save. So the Bengal offense has uh, been making her work so far. She's done a good job though to keep them off the scoreboard. Still no score here with just under four to play here in the first half. Zah in the box with an opportunity. Takes the shot, trying to find that back corner, punched away by Smith. Pond on it, heads it ahead into the box. She'll center it, but can't keep it in. Great effort by the Bengals here, and that ball that got to Mary Zah. Great ball in over the top of that Bears defense from Carlin Wurlitzer and Mary Zah. Just a great pass. Almost looks like a shot on the goal. Um, just a little bit wide and Maddie Smith getting in the right position to just knock it out of the way for the Bengals. Roth on it. Dangerous spot here ahead of her goal, Atkins, and she's able to get on top of it. She came out to play the ball and Able to get past Wurlitzer was looks like Rachel Mortensen. And a good job there by Atkins to avoid a disaster. Might be some miscommunication between defense, defender and goalkeeper. Um, but you know, way to be strong and come out tough and just save that ball when she could. Allen trying to get ahead. Smith on top of it though. I mean, we mentioned, you know, Kylie Atkins starting for senior day. Mm -hmm. She hasn't played a whole lot, so we probably not a whole lot of minutes together with Wurlitzer and maybe some of the other members of her of her back line. So we saw a little bit earlier, Taminga had a, had a had a giveaway that maybe was a communication issue too, perhaps. Right, just getting out the nerves in the first half. Under two minutes to go now, 143 here in the first half. Still no score. It's been a pretty active first half, though, despite no goals. A lot of shots, a lot of near misses, a lot of opportunities. Taminga started the game with the earmuffs. She's shedded those. It must be getting warmer out there. Pond now pushing it ahead. Centers it, but can't keep it in. Off the side of the net. Durin there defensively to one force remaining. Pond and send it off target. They're under a minute now here in the first half. The 
Sierra's trying to get one last push here. In the final 30 some seconds. Throwing here for Idaho State. 30 seconds to go. Idaho State, see if they can get one last push. Another throw in here coming with 26 seconds. Wallace steps in. Taminga. Wurlitzer. 15. Looking for Roth. That'll be a goal kick, and that should pretty much take us to the half. Ten, nine, the eight, final seconds seven, ticking off here, six, and a scoreless five, game here four, at Davis Field, three, but two, one. each team has had a few pretty decent opportunities at maybe trying to find a goal. What are some of your thoughts on what we've seen so far, Lyle? Yeah, definitely, you know, great game of soccer. They are out there, so. And it looks like uh, Maddie Smith still in goal for UNC. And we're ready to get going here in the second half. Still no score. See if one of these teams can find a goal or two and end the season on a positive note here at the final 45 minutes. And we are underway. Quick giveaway there by Idaho State, but Peyton Dion gets it right back for the Bengals. Swept away there by Samantha Blanchard and picked up by the Bears. Looking to go the other way, Lily Timpson. Dion steals it away again. Thomas Shiro now. Pawn there. Back up Dion. Taken away there by Onan. Wurlitzer taps it back to Taminga. Taminga did not start the first half, so she's in starting here for the second half. Atkins gets rid of it. A little bit of pressure there from Brittany Donis. There's pushing it back ahead. Looking for support. Wallace there defensively. She's another player that didn't start the game, but here to lead things off here in the second half, and she earns a foul and a free kick. Wallace, a tough player. Um, Dustin Downey mentioned her um, a while back. You know, she's a she's a hardworking player, and even though she doesn't get the minutes as much as others, um, she'll go in there and do what um, she needs to do for the team. So just as we saw there, tough defensive player and um, got a fall for the Bengals. Another one of those versatile players that Dustin mm -hmm. Downey likes. It. He can either put her back line, midfield, or even forward if he needs to. Pushing ahead here, Alex Michael. Ahead to Meadling. Meadling in the box. Cuts it inside. Shot deflected away. I think that might have, nope. I thought it might have been deflected off of Wurlitzer at first, but not touched by her. And a goal kick coming for Idaho State. Atkins to Wallace. Pokes it ahead to Pond. Grafton. Nice play by Grafton. Into the box. Takes the shot, but right at Maddie Smith. And Grafton doing what she does best again. Um, um, she did play more of the defensive role in the first half, but here she is in the offense just getting past with that UNC defensive player and getting a shot, um, unfortunately, to the goalkeeper, but, you know, she's knocking on the door. On the counter, the Bears now trying to push ahead. They get into the box. Well played by Warda to get in the way. A little bit of miscommunication between the Bengals allows the Bears to jump back on it. Woodhull, she'll send it in. Headed away by Wurlitzer, but brought down. Shot, save. I think that was Maddie Duran on the shot, but right again, right at Atkins. Seems like a lot of the shots we've seen have been right at the keeper from both teams today from both sides, you know, offensively getting that shot on goal, but for the keepers, just being in the right position um, and getting themselves uh, in front of the ball and saving that ball for them. Eight shots on goal for Idaho State, two for Northern Colorado. Throw in here for the Bears. Nice job by Peyton Dion to get in the mix of it and send it back. And that's going to be a couple of players hit the deck. 
as Thomas Shiro and Samantha Blanchard. Free kick taken quickly by the Bengals. Butterbaugh, she gets a shot and wide. Bengals took that free kick very quickly. Good read, but a technical play from them, you know, to just kind of um, catch the UNC Bears off guard and set the ball down and let them play. You look there at uh, Blanchard, bulldogging Thomas Shiro down to the ground. That's why I like to call mighty but and tough. Like, she's, she's not the biggest player, but she gets into it, holds her ground, and um, knows how to play the game. Five feet of fury is Megan Thomas Shiro. Nice play by Wurlitzer to sweep it away, but it will be a throw in here for the Bears. Lily Timpson. Dion, again, a good job to kind of get in the way of a throw in and get possession back. Pawn now. She slipped and she tried to send it forward. Still, the ball is able to find its way to Grafton. She'll cut it inside. Support in the middle. Tried to find Tomashiro, but Blanchard there to sweep it away. Now ahead, Bears with a breakaway. Woodhull, well played by the Bengals. So a couple of black shirts are able to catch up to her and get in the way. Great effort and recovery from the Bengals. Um, Woodhull had, some, you know, had some leg and had some speed on them, but Carlin Willards are just getting in front of her and being able to delay the play of game. Throw in here coming for Idaho State. So again, a lot of, a lot of back and forth action here. No goals, but. Plenty of uh, everything else. Edge of the box now, taken away by the Bears. They try and push it ahead. Throw in coming for Northern Colorado. Timson here, near side. She looks to push ahead. Needling. Crosses. Goes across, still in play. And Wallace is gonna go pick it up. And great job by UNC to look for that switch and point of attack on the field. Um, as we saw number four, just drive down the line, get it to the end line and get a cross off for the Bears. Wurlitzer with it. Warda. Tomashiro. Looking for Peyton Dion. And that's going to go out for a throw in for UNC. He's again trying to push it ahead. Hart, being thrown on. Bears will play it back to the back line. Switch it up near side, looking for Kayla Needling, but Ward is there to take it away. Taminga. Wurlitzer boots it forward. That hits Deborah Pond right in the back. Bengals able to get possession. They'll play it back to Atkins. I just say doing a good job of keeping possession. As I say that, they give it away to the Bears. <laughs> Another slip there, Onan somehow slipped, but is still able to hang on to that. And pushes it ahead to Donis. Brittany Donis will take a shot, a one hopper to Atkins. So we 
can see a little bit more slipping and sliding there. He's able to stick that foot out there and keep possession. Don't know how, but it works. <laughs> Thirty-six minutes left to go here in this contest between the Bears and the Bengals. Both these teams looking to end what's been a disappointing season for the most part for both these teams, but a chance to end it on the high note and gain some momentum looking ahead to next season. Wurlitzer steps in and picks off that pass. How much does the final game of the season carry on, on into the next season generally you found? I think it means more than you you would think it means. Um, it's just, you know, playing together one last time as a team in the fall, um, just to kind of close the books and just send it, everybody wants to end on a high note. So it's kind of just, you know, how you finish strong together as a team and all that you worked, worked for together throughout the whole season. So just kind of the, um, cherry on top for how you um, call the season good. And as far as like the seniors knowing that this is their final game, well, what are those nerves like? Do you think for them? You know, it's 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 nerves, but it's also like rewarding and um, just a little like a lot of emotions going on too. It's for some of them, it's their last time playing soccer um, at a collegiate level or just in general for themselves, um, at like a team like this um, and. Just so many emotions that go through um, all of their their minds, and I think a lot of them are just grateful, grateful for the opportunity and the experience that um, they've been able to be a part of. Smith boots it up. And there's gonna be a foul called against Idaho State. Looks like Peyton Dion pushed Duran in the back there on the kick. Yeah, a little bit of an aggressive play there. So a free kick here coming for the Bears. Into the box, still loose. Bengals able to get it away momentarily, but right back on is the Bears. Onan will take a shot, deflected in the box. Back to the Bears, still bouncing around. Still in the box. Timpson. Wallace tries to get to it, and it's gonna be a corner. Corner kick, Bears. Off of Wallace, or she, Wallace couldn't keep it in anyway. So a corner kick coming for Northern Colorado. Alex Michael, the freshman from Gillette, Wyoming out to take it. the box, headed away by Brentlinger. Thomas Shiro tries to sweep it out, but right back to Timpson. She sends it into the box. Couple of players down, and it's gonna be a throw in for Northern Colorado. So the Bears keeping the pressure up. Kaylin Needling with the throw in. Wurlitzer heads it away. Bengals finally able to gain control and get out of it. Now trying to get a counter going. Brentlinger leading the charge. Ahead, Tomashiro. She has support in the middle. Takes the shot from out deep and can't quite get there. And a pretty good counter there from Idaho State. That was a great counter. And the speed of play, from the speed of play to um, the direction of pass, as we see Brentlinger with the push here for the Bengals, who tries to find, slips that pass through on the defensive line for the Bears and finds Megan Tomashiro. Um, it's a little bit too much um, over, over the goal, but great effort by the Bengals. Couple substitutions now, Mary Zah coming in. And also in for your Bengals, number 23, Morgan And Morgan Freed also in as, good to see Morgan Freed into the game. She took a bit of a tumble late in the game Friday. A little bit shaken up, but she's okay. Grafton slips it ahead. Blanchard able to get there for Northern Colorado and a throw in coming for Idaho State. Hey, 
So the Bengals with 17 shots today, season high. Still no goals though. Looks like we're gonna get a foul called here um, against the Bears on the far side of the field for the Bengals. And Wurlitzer coming over to take it. This is a spot that her powerful left leg can maybe do something with. Into the box. Dion couldn't quite get up there to get ahead on it. A great ball in from Wurlitzer and just a little misread from the Bengals um, over all of the Bengals, but Peyton Dion trying to get on the end of that ball. Just Jimmy inches away Bears from able to get to it. Morgan King. Dion, five foot two, sophomore. If she was five seven, she might have almost <laughs> there. Get, might have been able to get something on it, but just out of her reach. Morgan King checking in for Northern Colorado with 30 minutes to go. A half hour left to go in the season. Both these teams looking to end with a win. Still no score here in Pocatello. The clouds have kind of come in a little bit as the sunshine that we had earlier has kind of gone away. Winds might have picked up a little bit as well. So it's a chilly afternoon here. Zaw can't quite hang on to it, taken away. Onan. Wurlitzer launches it for the Bengals. Grafton, nice touch there by Grafton to get around the defender. Tomashiro has to hold up so to make sure she's on side. Grafton pushing it ahead. Cuts it away, gets past a couple of defenders, gets a shot off. Nicole. Emerson Grafton gives the Bengals the lead. All the shots finally pay off as Emerson Grafton finds the back of the net for the Bengals. I love everything about that play. And like I talked about um, this player all game today, you know, she's a hardworking player. So well deserving of that goal and great, great um, effort for her to take on about five to six UNC players and just put it right in the back of the net for the Bengals. Just an absolute gorgeous goal. She was going through at UNC defenders like, you know, that in dog shows where they have that agility challenge yes. where the dogs are just weaving their way through poles. That's exactly what Emerson Grafton just did to the Northern Colorado defense. And the also Bengals take the, the lead with 29 minutes left to go. Roberts. Grafton's second goal of the season on a great just individual run and effort. So now we've got two Bengals um, this season with both two goals, um, Emerson Grafton and Kalen Buchanan. So great for them and great for the team. Ball in the box now for the Bears as they try to look for the equalizer. It's going to bounce out and it's going to be a throw in here for Northern Colorado. And I think that that run that Emerson Grafton had just kind of defined what how Dustin Downey looks at her as a player. Um, hardworking, skillful, and just Bears, being able to take on those Rachel UNC Bears Wilkinson. and place that ball in the back of the net um, gives the Bengals the lead 1-0. Substitution here for the Bears. Rachel Mortensen in, Brittany Donis out, and Bears will center it, but it's going to be behind the goal and a goal kick here coming for Kylie Atkins. We talked a little bit about uh, part of a game of this nature is kind of impressing the coaching staff, kind of helping to secure your your spot maybe uh, on next year's team. And Grafton, uh, Dustin Downey has to be impressed with what he just saw there from Emerson Grafton. Definitely, and like a, like the young player she is, um, her, her actions and her skill in the field is um, speaking a lot for her. So great player to watch and excited to see what she brings in the seasons to come. Bengals, trying to get something else going here, Dion. Stood up there by Haley Onan. And she boots it into the Idaho State bench and a throw in here coming for the Bengals. Freed, looking for Za. She gets knocked down. Bengals keep possession, play on. Grafton again splits a couple of other defenders. She'll take another shot while actually trying to maybe find Buchanan, or excuse me, that was uh, Butterball in the back post there. Had a goal kick in the end for UNC. Grafton just knows how to hold the ball off and um, just being so strong and composure of keeping the ball as we're seeing here on the replay of the goal. Um, great composure by her and well-deserved goal. 
So it's a one nothing score here with 26.45 left to go. Bengals looking for their first home win of the season. And that's gonna be a foul called against the Bengals. So a free kick coming here for UNC. Right at midfield. Quite a few um, free kicks we've seen um, throughout this game from this same position. So um, we know they can get the ball in as we see right here for the Bears. And a lot of them work their way into the box. This one's cut off by Peyton Dion before he can get to the box. At the Za, Tamashiro, Bengals on the run again. Tries to slip it through, looking for Grafton. But uh, the defense there from Northern Colorado able to slow her down to allow Smith to jump on her. Just a little bit too much. Um, and I know Grafton just trying to stay on side of the Bears defensive line as well. Um, a great job by UNC to hold off and give her goalkeeper enough time to come out and get that ball for them. King with it for the Bears. They're looking for the equalizer. Just over 25 minutes to go. One nothing Bengals. Headed up by Za. Works its way back to Za. Pushes it ahead to Tomashiro. In the middle, Grafton. Nice little back hill to Mary Za. Za, edge of the box. She takes a shot. Goal! Goal! It stayed no out somehow. It went from post to post along the line and did not go in. Unfortunate, unfortunate for the Bengals. You know, really great effort as we see here. Mary Zaw just taking on that last bit. Just gets past, just not enough past the end line um, for the Bengals, but great effort. Um, Emerson Grafton with that flick on and Mary Zaw getting to the ball with a shot on goal. That touched every inch of the goal line <laughs> sure without sure did. actually going over. So a near, near miss there on a great setup from Tomashiro to Za. And the Bengals earning a free kick here on a foul and another opportunity. So this Idaho State, this has easily been at least the best uh, effort as far as shots on goal that we've seen. And now another opportunity here to maybe put another goal on the board for the free kick here in a dangerous spot on the set piece. Taylor Butterbaugh set up at the moment to take it. Let's see what Butterbaugh can do. She'll take the shot, but right at Maddie Smith. I love the soccer that um, the Bengals have been playing um, this game. And I, I know they've been wanting to play this all season long, but I think it means um, enough for them to end on this kind of note and just the progression that they've had throughout um, previous games today um, speaks volumes so I'm excited to see what um, other the future seasons hold in store for the Bengals. What do you think the difference is today? Is it an effort thing, a tactical thing? Uh, what, what What's different about what we're seeing today from the Idaho State that we've seen previously? I think a, um, even though a lot of it has to do with we're gonna get a, a shot, shot off here so. saved by Atkins um, Although it's senior night, you know, everybody wants to play for their seniors and make them proud and finish on a high note. Um, a lot of it too is, you know, how they're gonna continue for future seasons. So um, even though it is the last game, I know a lot of the younger players are looking forward to how they um, bring out the Bengals and how they're gonna roar for future seasons to come. Throw in here for Idaho State as Kaylin Needling couldn't quite get it in as we Get a throw in here Bears, for Idaho State. We take another look here at this Donis, near miss from Mary Zaw. And just the fact that she gets it, her gets her shot off right Bengals after um, nine, number 20 of UNC gets around her. Uh, just unfortunate uh, so hit of the post Bengals, and across 10, the goal line. And in for your Bengals, number 17, Mia Cartwright. So a couple of substitutions here for Idaho State. Mia Cartwright among them. I think that's the first time we've seen her this afternoon that I recall. Cartwright immediately 
trying to get on the ball, but UNC on top of it. Onan, near side for Donis. Knocked out, throw in here for the Bears. Quickly taken by Brittany Donis. King hits the deck and she draws the foul. Peyton Dion called for it. And so a dangerous free kick opportunity here for the Bears, looking for the equalizer. Just under 21 and a half to go. Morgan King, the junior from Long Beach, California. Getting set to take it. Just a two-person wall here for the Bengals. Into the box, Atkins. No pressure there. It went right for and there weren't really anybody around her to get in her way. Throws it quickly ahead. So Bengals try to get the push going. Desjardins knocked down by the Bears. Rulitzer and Freed get it back for the Bengals. Roth with it now. Tomashiro. Cartwright can't quite get to it. And a goal kick coming. Thomas Shiro seems like she's been really good at kind of setting things up in that midfield. Yeah, team. she's you know she does really well for the midfield and the, um, for the Bengals, and she's she reads the game really well. So with being a, her being able to keep the ball and compose a bit, um, she finds the right time and the right place to slip it through and um, hopefully get it on the end to another Bengal. Another one of those great Hawaii products that the Bengals find to bring here to Pocatello. Thomas Shiro on it again. Slips it ahead to Cartwright. He's going to stay onside. She had to hesitate a little bit to stay onside. Gets it to Desjardins. Did a great job to do so. Thomas Shiro with it now. Looking. She'll take a shot, and I think it was deflected, and so it ends up being a pretty easy pop fly there for Maddie Smith to deal with. And Megan Thomas Shiro, she can hit a ball from far, um, although small. Um, she, like I said, she's mighty. She did score against um, Portland State a couple weeks ago from about 30 to 40 yards out um, on the goal and got that goal for the Bengals. A yellow card has just been issued. I think it was Peyton Dion who got it. So a free kick coming here for the Bears with just over 19 to go. So we our second booking of the afternoon. First one against the Bengals. And I think it was Dion. We'll wait for the official ruling as the, bank, or the Bears set up to take this free kick. McKenna Wilson. Into the box, but again, right into the waiting arms of Kylie Atkins. It was Peyton Dion who was, who got the yellow card there. Mortensen ends up with the throw in here for the Bears again. Lucy Roberts getting ready to take it. 18 and a half to go, one nothing Idaho State. Season finale for both of these teams. little pass there from Rachel Mortensen couldn't find the target and it's going to be a goal kick for Atkins and the Bengals. So that is Dion's first yellow card of the season. Carduzio. Bears able to get it back. The Bears doing a really good job um, this game to switch the point of attack and hopefully find that finishing third piece. Um, just not being able to find that last player on the ball to keep possession of it. We have foul called here against the Bears. And a free kick here coming for Idaho State. Wurlitzer's going to step up and take it. As we look at... Uh, 
It's like Haley Onan pushing over the Bengal player. Wurlitzer into the box, headed away by the Bears. And a push in the back against Brettling and a free kick coming for the Bears. Under 17 to go. Bengals trying to hold on to a 1-0 lead here on Senior Day. Wurlitzer, one of the seniors for Idaho State, heads it away. Swooping in and stealing is Blanchard for the Bears. She'll send it into the box. But Atkins able to beat Brittany Donis to the ball. Wurlitzer was there, as was another Bengal in support. I think that was Freed that was there as well. Atkins doing a really good job um, this game of just being patient, but reading the ball really well to get herself in the right position and um, come out early and make that save for the Bengals. Bears pushing it, Durham. Onan. Back to Onan. Wurlitzer are there to get in the way. Roth with it now. Tomashiro. Wurlitzer tries to feed it to Freed. It goes off the back heel of Donis and a throw in coming for Idaho State. So we get more subs coming in. Checking in for the Bengals, Gabby Warda coming back in. Needley, Virginia Wallace having a seat checking in for, your Bengals, for the Bengals. Gabby Warda. Rachel Morrison taking a seat for the Bears. Not, didn't see who the Northern Colorado player is. It uh, Needling, Kaylin Needling coming in for the Bears. And that's going to be out of bounds and a throwing for UNC. Dion trying to push it. Gets past a couple of white shirts. Tomashiro. She'll take a shot off the post. The crossbar coming to the aid again for the Bears. On another near miss error from Tomashiro. This time the crossbar is Maddie Smith's best friend. Great effort um, from the Bengals again. And like I said earlier, you know, Megan Tomashiro, um, small and mighty, but she can hit a ball from far. And like we just saw, just enough um, to hit the crossbar, um, but great effort again. So Maddie Smith has 12 saves in this match. The crossbar has one, and each post has one as well. <laughs> They're definitely getting their stats for the game as well. Roth tries to cross it, and easy pickings there for Smith. So yeah, this uh, I think has easily been the, the most aggressive and kind of the most um, offensive-minded game we've seen from Idaho State this season. We've I, had some great chances. Yeah, and I think they're well-deserving of it. You know, very still a very young team, and um, the Bengals trying to find their direction of the program under Dustin Downey. So um, it's, it's been a great game to watch today and um, the season as well. Tomashiro trying to set up another opportunity. Brentlinger with it. She'll cut it inside. Warda looking for Roth on that back post. Roth with it now. Freed, she'll center it. Cleared away momentarily by the Bears. Dion's going to camp underneath it. So the Bengals continuing the pressure here with a one goal lead, 13 to go. Scarduzio back to Wurlitzer. Slips a little bit, but able to maintain possession. She'll send it in. Or Cartwright can't hang on to it. And it's cleared by the Bears. Maddie Smith definitely thankful for that, the crossbar and both posts today. Um, but you know, she's getting up there and covering the space as well. Just um, 
the goal not on the side of Bengals um, worth hitting it today. Duran, Blanchard. Well, as many chances and opportunities and good looks that the Bengals have, it's still just a one nothing game. So a goal from the Bears changes the dynamic completely. So a lot to play for still here in the final 12 minutes. Bengals though, seems like they've been able to hold on to the possession pretty good here in the second half as well, and still be able to maintain the, the that aggression as the Bears now try to get a counter here going. Slips it ahead. Scarduzio there defensively to get in the way, and Scarduzio is able to escort that ball back to Atkins while fending off the, the UNC player. That was McKenna Wilson. There. Roberts. Picked up by the Bengals. Sent back and Blanchard's gonna get on it for the Bears. Onan. Deflected off Dion's knee and into the UNC bench and a throw in here coming for the Bears. Roberts looking for Woodhull. And it's gonna be out in another throw in here coming for Northern Colorado. Edge of the box for Woodhull. Pushed out wide. Couldn't quite keep it in though. Reed there to apply the pressure and to force her to lose it out. Checking in for Substitutions. Number one, Emerson, Emerson Grafton, Grafton back in for Mia Carwright. Grafton's goal is the difference in this game so far. Throw in Bengals. Just under 10 to go. Idaho State looking for their first home win of the season here on the season finale. Opportunity here, Woodhull swept away momentarily by the Bengals and the shot's gonna be off target. like that was Kaylin Needling who had the, got the shot off. Light goal kick here for Atkins. Tomashiro knocked down by Haley Onan. She tries to push it ahead for her team, looking for the equalizer. Hart down low, looking for Needling. Needling. Guarded by Warda, sends it in. Scarduzio there to get a knee on it. Brentlinger now, push it ahead. Bengals going the other way. Looking for Grafton. Out wide. We've seen her do wonderful things so far. Taken away at the edge of the box. Tomashiro gets it back for the Bengals. Looking for Roth. Bounced, header. Is it goal. in? Goal, it's a goal. Jordan Roth with the goal. Looks like she might have got hit as she headed the ball through there for the Bengals. Jordan Roth gives the Bengals the two nothing lead on another beautiful setup there by Megan Tomashiro. And it's two nothing Bengals. Jordan Roth, her first goal of the year. Great, great goal for the Bengals. Um, Megan Tomashiro being able to look up and Jordan Roth being able to get on the end of that ball and just putting her body on the line. Um, unfortunate hit as she went there, but ball went in the back of the net for the Bengals and makes it a 2-0 lead for them. And a big second goal for Idaho State here with just under eight and a half to go to give them a little bit of a cushion. 
Just the second multi-goal game of the year for the Bengals. They scored two against Weber State in a 4-2 loss. We mentioned Bengals offense really picking up as of late. Fifth straight game with a goal after going six scoreless prior to that. And I, I think that's been the difference maker for them is, you know, countering the point of attack and the speed of play and into the transition of attack has uh, made the difference today in um, score for the Bengals. Meanwhile, Megan Tomashiro with her first assist of the season on that goal. Close opportunity for the Bears there as um, pass intercepted, gets intercepted from the Bears and gets a shot on goal just wide. Checking in for your Bengals, number 11, Genevieve Sowers. Genevieve Sowers checking back into the game also for Megan Tomashiro. Number 13, Kaylin of course, Sowers, one of the four seniors being celebrated here tonight on senior night. Harrison Grafton's also going to take a seat. Bears still fighting, though, trying to get a goal on the board. Shot there from Lucy Hart goes high. So we take a look at this goal here from Jordan Roth. A great feed there, tied by Tomashiro. Roth just able to get ahead on it just in time. Great ball in from Tomashiro, and she's got the leg. Great placement on Jordan Roth, being able to get on the end of that ball and slip it right past through the UNC defender and goalkeeper. Um, gives them the 2-0 lead. That is going to be a corner here for Northern Colorado as that goes off the foot of Wurlitzer. So just over six to go, a set piece opportunity for the Bears, now down by two, trying to claw their way back here in the final six minutes. Corner kick, Bears. Just the third corner kick of the game for UNC. Still in the box. Shut down by the Bengals, another opportunity. Centered, Roth there to clear it. Bears back on it. Ahead, Donis. Roberts. Roberts able to keep it in. Roberts being able to um, staying tough and strong on the ball, being able to maintain and keep possession for the Bears. Bears still on it. Hart. Donis. Centering it, Atkins goes up to punches it and punches it away, and Ward is going to be able to go collect it in the corner and send it the other way for Idaho State. Great read by Atkins to um, kind of cover her back post and get a touch on that ball, which slips it just out the back end of of the 18, and Gabby Warda just being there to clear it out for the Bengals. I think we have a foul called here. So we take a look at that punch again there by Atkins. Not a whole lot, but just enough to get outside of a range and. Um, not letting UNC get a shot on goal. So a foul called against Idaho State. Free kick here for UNC. McKenna Wilson, it's like she'll take it. Looks like she took her shoe off to take the free kick. And it goes right into the arms of Atkins. She did. <laughs> she, took, she took her shoe off, took the free kick. Now she's going to put her shoe back on. That's a, a different tactic I've seen. <laughs> Just over four to go here, two nothing Idaho State. Bengals trying to end the season on a high note with a victory on senior day. She still got her shoe off, she just threw it off the field, so. Looks like she's just gonna play with a sock in one shoe. I can't imagine that's easy, <laughs> especially on uh, on grass, wind and cold, um, I don't know how that'd be. King trying to push it ahead for the Bears. They try to get a goal on the board here in the final 340, down by two. That harmlessly goes into the box and Atkins is gonna take her time. Ice, you're gonna play the clock game here for them. Um, you know, with a 2-0 lead, um, people say it's the most dangerous lead in soccer, so they're gonna take what they can and just help themselves out a bit.
going to be a throw in here for the Bears. Or actually, they called a foul on Buchanan. Looks like she got a tug of the arm there. Taken quickly. Ward is able to send it up. Buchanan gets past the defender. She has support, knocked down from behind, and that's gonna be a free kick. Wow, it looks like we have a player down on. And it's a yellow and a red card. I think McKenna Wilson just got sent off. She got, it's like Buchanan got pushed from behind. So a lot going on right now, as uh, Buchanan got pushed from behind on that, on that run. And I think uh, Wilson, McKenna Wilson just got uh, sent off. And then we also have an injured uh, Northern Colorado yeah. player back away from the play on the other side of the field. So a lot to sort out here with 2.50 left. The clock is stopped as we kind of sort all this out. It looks like it is number 28. That is Kalen Needling, the injured player, as we look again at the foul here. Just pushed from behind. Sam Blanchard, now Sam Blanchard, she had a yellow earlier, so this is because this was her second yellow, so that's why it's a red. So that wasn't a straight up red for the right, particular she's foul. Right, to win the game. But that is her second yellow card, which is why she's getting sent off. So the Bears will play the final 250 down a player. Meanwhile, we are still attending to Kaylin Needling, the graduate student from Longmont, Colorado, as she's being helped off the field. We hope she's okay. And so they'll, the Bears will sub for her, and it looks like it's going to be Rachel Checking Mortensen who's going to come in for Rachel Needling. Mortensen. Meanwhile, Blanchard and has to go. Uh, so they'll, I believe they'll be with the player down. Also, Jarazeski, Lizzie Jarazeski just checked in for Idaho State. Morgan Freed heading to the bench as we take one more look at that Sam Blanchard foul, that yellow card that's turned into a red card, and she's gone. You know, just an obstruction um, of an offensive attack, and um, she'll get that foul, foul and the yellow, um, which is unfortunate, but sets up the Bengals for a free kick here in the attacking third um, of UNC. All right, so a set piece opportunity for the Bengals here, already up 2 nothing with 2.50 left to go here in the game. And I think we're about ready to get started. Here we go. Roth headed up by the Bears. Headed down, still on the edge of the box, fight for possession. Bears able to finally clear. Brentlinger wins the foot race to the ball to allow Idaho State to get back on it. Jarazeski just checked in. It's going to send it back to Atkins, right back to Jarazeski. Dion now, just over two minutes to go. Sowers, one of the seniors, looking to see if she can do something in her final game as a Bengal. Deflected off of a bear. That is. She'll set up a corner for them. Corner kick, Bengals. So here's a corner here. Wurlitzer sends it in. Oh, nearly. I think that hit the post again as Smith whiffed on the punch, and I think it hit the post and went out. Hit something just enough to not go in the back of the goal. and. You know, Wurlitzer has that left foot and range, um, the ability to shoot, and which she did, and just not enough to get past uh, Maddie Smith. The Bengals still putting on the pressure here in the final 127. <laughs> Headed up by Wurlitzer, just over a minute to go. Taken away by the Bears, Woodhull to Duran. Wurlitzer's gonna send it high and into the one crowd. Minute remaining, one minute. One minute to go. Duran into the box. Warden there to get in the way and Scarduzio clears it. That goes out, so a throw in here coming, 40 seconds to go. Oh, 
Sowers on it. Sheds a defender. She's got Roth on the near side. Up ahead to Roth. Support in the middle. Desjardins is there. Sowers is there. Here's Sowers who couldn't quite get a shot off. Well played defensively by McKenna Wilson to sweep it away. And that stayed in until it was cleared near the ISU bench. And a throw-in coming here with nine seconds left. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. And that will do it. The final score here, Idaho State. It's their first home victory of the season on senior night. 2-0 over Northern Colorado.